resume. So I'm going to try to, let's make this its own window, move to its own window. What was it? A new window. That way we could just do the little side-by-side -side business. Okay. Um, and you, Mac, I used to have to like download a, a, a thing, something that would allow me to, to do this one side and, and the other side, but now it just, it does it by itself. Okay. So let's go back and look at the packed fourth way so we can go back to where we were and look at the the standards that are being assessed okay. like what exactly all is in there okay. and so um you have um number sense and operations and you have number concepts which includes number sense um patterns in algebra algebra and functions um, measurement and geometry geometry and measurement probability and statistics here mm -hmm. and so what's important is is for you to focus on on this portion oh, here right yeah these four and those are with your teeks right not with your teeks with the with the texas exam so let's take a look at the the competencies here understands numbers that in, that's in domain one let me make this big again oh gee what was okay no doing it again okay here we are <clears throat> so we have here uh competency one within the domain of number sense understanding numbers so these are the things in particular that they have to be able to do um analyze the relationship between subsets of real numbers um and so what does that mean? So we have to know the difference between uh, the relationship between real numbers. And so if any of these while you're going through this study, because I want you to go through each one of these and make like little notes for yourself, I'm going to take us to Pinterest is literally the best tool for anything and everything, but but even math. So math uh number let's just look up number sense um and you can do fourth grade if you even want to get like wait fourth well maybe it doesn't get that but um oh yeah it does it goes up this way so you could click on the different ones like per per grade level but different number sense and sometimes we have fourth graders who don't have a strong number sense right they're ability to read the number four and see the number four or see 444 um you know that and be able to to make sense of what that would look like in their brain so having that foundational number sense where i know what it looks like i'm learning right now because my last year students compared because this is my second year teaching right last year i was really spoiled with my students they knew they were super on it. They knew what we were doing. Well, these are way like lower, but we're just right. they're weaker in that particular yes. standard. Math right? is real, like they are very weak. Most half of them are weak in math, like half of them failed the math star. So it's like right. I'm figuring out how to go from the bottom, bottom. And so right. oh, we already you, know this. Right. And you certainly do want to do that. And the thing is, is that it's not even, I mean, people are experiencing that everywhere, even those, you know, in ELAR, in science classes where they, where they think this would be common knowledge and I don't have to say this, yeah. I do have to say, it. and actually I have to break it down a little bit more because mm -hmm. we're not there yet. The students aren't there. So everybody's finding, and that's why it's really important um, for us to assess our students so that we know where they are so we don't continue like okay let me continue on with this particular curriculum although it's not they're not being successful and so finding out what they're lacking in their sort of foundational sense of numbers and 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 their base and the basic function of math that's really important so you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, which is awesome and exciting it's because tiring. the test is one thing. It's exhausting. That's what I'm saying. Like teachers deserve a raise. Especially with 95 of them. And I have 55 minute blocks with fourth graders. Right. Oh and we're my gosh. Four and four. Mm -hmm. That is exhausting. So I know you're incredibly tired after doing all of that. So in preparation for this exam, what I want 
for you to do is to make sure you are comfortable understanding the things that you know that you need to know because it's what the students will need to know right you will need to be able to assess their knowledge in those things and then how to support their weakness in that particular area so now that you've identified students are lacking that number sense you know um later on if they lack automicity with some of some of their like multiplication tables and stuff it's going to hurt them when they get to algebra it's going to hurt them mm -hmm. when they're in geometry so those those things need to be worked on as long as you are familiar with the things that are described the, the you know math um skills and sort of facts or what they're discussing um so prime factorization like you have to be you you don't have to be an expert and be able to do it like on a calculus level, but you do have to know what it is. At least some of it. Absolutely, because the students <clears throat> do, right? The students have to know uh, those those things. Apply. And you know enough to tell them. Exactly. You need to, because, um, and we'll go to that right now, um, because it's important also for you to take a look at this, because that that is, since it's four, um, four through eight, each four through uh, each content area is built or is created uh, utilizing two documents. Pearson uses the state standards for you to be math four through eight, and then they use the corresponding teaks that that the students are, are you know required to fulfill uh -huh. or achieve those knowledge and skill standards. So those two documents are what they come up with our exam. So it's important for you to at least have a baseline uh, and you'll begin you will begin in the elementary um section and you know access four through eight but to see what what they are supposed to be doing like what are and you already know because you're teaching it right this is one that you're probably doing it you know all the time but it for for four through eight you have to know what they're gonna, what they need and should be able to do at the fifth grade level and then what they need and should be able to do at the sixth grade level and how it like how does it build on each other and how is it different what new um big skill and or concept does this grade level get because on the teeks exam not I, i'm not super familiar with the pact because that is something that that is new that the state came up with um sort of like a preface to the the Texas, but with the Texas exam, that's how sometimes they get you. So it's not a lack of understanding about the math concept. It's just knowing, okay, for fourth graders, this is best practice because they should be focusing on this. And yeah. I really need them to do this. So that's why this um, instructional strategy or math activity is the best and most appropriate choice. That's how one is more appropriate than the other is your working knowledge of the TEKS and what students uh, should be able to do at each of the grade levels. Yes. And they're each, they each have like a category that we continue to see over and over again. And um, mathematical process standards, um, number operations, algebraic reasoning, geometry, measurement. geometry and measurement. And those are going to be the same. And it's like, we can go back and you can even see what, what we do in kindergarten. Like what's the point of kindergarten, the primary focus. And that's why it's important. Like if you were doing EP, EC through six, it'd be so important for you to pass that, that math portion, knowing that kindergarten, their main focus is about applying place value, um, solving problems in addition and subtraction, composing and decomposing two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional solids. So th that's their primal focus. Uh, oh, did I go to first grade? I didn't. I meant to do um, kindergarten. Kinder. That, that's first grade. <clears throat> and for kindergarten, their primary focus is on counting and cardinality, right? First, second, third, one, two, three, four, beginning to understand and, and sort of sight word read the, the letters that course or the words that mm -hmm. correspond with our numbers. Um, understanding addition. And so this is where it's different. In kindergarten, it's not mastering addition and subtraction. It's just understanding that addition is joining things together and making more of exactly. and subtraction is separating things and getting less and, and sort of, so it is same, and we're going through the same principles, math process standards, 
We're going to do number operations, um, number operations again, more number operations, because of course it's going to be heavy on that because they're kinder. Mm -hmm. They're going to be super thin on algebraic yeah, reasoning. Reason. They're not going to be doing a whole bunch of that. Or they are going to be doing some some geometry because they're going to be just the basics, not any sort of theorems or anything like that, but they will learn two-dimensional, three-dimensional, and many of the names and the shapes that they'll be using later on in their math learning in that ge in that geography and measurement. So um, whatever the student needs to know and needs to be able to do, we do as well. And so going through those two documents is going to be very helpful to you. And then whenever possible and whenever you need uh, information on how to best present that or best strategies, just looking up some of the terms in um, within Pinterest will help you. It's sort of like everybody that's a great math teacher throws their stuff in there. And so it's like it literally for classroom management, for decorating, for projects. Yeah. I mean, like I use every, Pinterest a lot for my anchor charts. You see, for anchor, that's another thing. For anchor charts, there's just there's a lot. So you can also use it to help you prepare for this exam. Make sure that you are reading the questions carefully, right? Because they do try to make them tricky. Oh, Ask yourself, like, what is the question really asking me? What's the goal here? And um, and that's about it. And then I just like a testing. That's really all it is. Yeah, I, and, and, and studying, is, studying, I will tell you, I am a big procrastinator. And yeah, it's my fault that I'm taking. Like, I just, I suck at studying. I start to study and then there goes my ADD and I'm like, start focusing. Yeah, on no, I know. I gotta do dishes, I gotta do laundry. Like, absolutely. Maybe just do like 30 minutes a day. Okay. And also there's some math four through eight videos. I don't know if you received those already. Um, no, see, and I was going to tell you, I was looking for your welcome email, like, you know, for with my password and stuff for the okay. teacher builder. And I don't see that. Okay, I'll, I'll resend it to you. I It may have gone to my spam or something, okay. but I looked your name up and I and saw the send so many emails. It probably, I mean, that happens to me often where someone sends me something and I look up the name. I'm like, I don't have it. Can you please resend it? I know. I no, but you know, I'll send it to you again. So I need to take my pact first. Okay. That's, I know that I'm studying for that study, study, study. Okay. And then I'm what am I supposed to be doing something on the website? Like or is my step just through 240? No, 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 we do. So the thing is, uh, you've never logged on before? No, I can't find my login like at all. No, yeah, that's 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 perfectly fine. Um, 